Hello everyone and welcome back to Towergate. It is Towergate day number 1254. 1254. September 30th, 2020, Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is a banner day for me here on Towergate. You know, I wasn't even planning on doing a video today unless something really important broke because uh, get, getting ready right now to uh, take a shower, go have some dinner. I just got in from work uh, and um, meeting up with my girlfriend and a couple friends. We're going to watch the debate uh, this evening. We're going to have dinner at Red Lobster and then watch the debate. So haven't got much time here, but uh, with this breaking news today, uh, I just had to get this out real quick. So John Ratcliffe, John Ratcliffe has declassified a document. He has given that document to the Senate Judiciary Committee. This document details, it's a letter which details that there are handwritten notes written by Mr. Potato Head, John Brennan. Those notes saying that the Rotten Reverend Clinton campaign advisors created a proposal to vilify Trump by stirring up a scandal claiming inter, uh, interference by Russian security services. So basically the long and short at this point, there's it's still kind of sketchy. There's four or five different stories on this as it's just now broke a little while ago. And I just got home from work and saw it. I've looked at four or five different stories on this, a little sketchy. Everyone's got a slightly different view of where this is going, but it appears at this time that what has happened here is that sometime in July of 2016, in fact, um, about just a couple of um, weeks um, after the Seth Rich murder is what this appears to timeline appears to be about two weeks after the Seth Rich murder that the Rotten Reverend Clinton uh, had one of her people go to John Brennan and float this story and John Brennan then goes and briefs Obama and says, hey, I just heard that Hillary Clinton and her campaign team are about to run this uh, operation or this scam or whatever he, he described it as, this, this plan or this plot. Hillary is getting ready to run a plot claiming that Trump uh, uh, was working with the Russians the, uh, hacking the DNC. So here's Brennan going to Obama and briefing him on the fact that he just learned that the Hillary Clinton campaign and Hillary and her foreign policy people are going to cook up a story about Trump having uh, colluding with Russia and having something to do with them being involved working together and hacking the DNC. So here's a couple key dates. So Seth Rich is murdered on July the 9th. Two weeks later, Robbie Mook on July the 25th. Remember, Seth Rich is murdered on July the 9th, actually on the 10th, because it was early, early in the morning, about 4.30 in the morning on July the 10th, 2016. 15 days later, Robbie Mook goes on CNN and drops the first thing that we had heard about Trump Russia collusion. So July 25th, Robbie Mook drops the Russian conspiracy on CNN. And that was the first time we publicly had heard, publicly had heard anything about it. This would have been about 15 days after the murder of Seth Rich. Then the very next day, a Clinton foreign policy advisor pushes the Trump Russia narrative to Mr. Potato Head, John Brennan. Two days later, July 28th, Brennan briefs Obama. He goes and says, hey, someone just told me that Hillary and her team are getting ready to um, push a Trump-Russia narrative. Then, three days later, July 31st, 2016, Peter's been stroking us, launches the Operation Crossfire Hurricane investigation into Trump. Now, we always knew that it had nothing to do with Papa Galopoulos. And they knew that the dossier was BS. But we now know exactly what I suspected 
from the very beginning when I started doing these Towergate videos. For those of you who have been watching my channel, you know this is true. I said literally about, I guess it was uh, right after I started making these videos in the spring, late spring of 2017, it was a few weeks after that, maybe even uh, within the first two weeks of doing Towergate videos, I said, this looks like a rotten Reverend Clinton plot. And the more and more I looked at this as I continued following this story, within a few weeks of that, I said, you know what? This was a rotten Reverend Clinton operation. It was planned, organized, directed, and controlled by the rotten Reverend. Planned, organized, and directed, controlled by the rotten Reverend Clinton. Today's release, I think it pretty much uh, bears out exactly what I suspected three years ago. Ratcliffe apparently is saying that uh, there's going to be further declassification on this issue. He's working with the Senate Judiciary Committee right now on that declassification. Apparently, we're going to get to see the actual handwritten notes from uh, John Brennan. Because John Brennan, when he was briefed on this, he took notes, handwritten notes, which are in the system. And obviously, Durham, if you remember, many, many months ago, Durham requested all of Brennan's notes and calendars and travel schedules and itineraries and all these things. So that means that, that Durham has known this for a, quite a long time. And now Ratcliffe has just declassified it. And he's suggesting that he's working for further declassification. It might be that we are going to get to see the actual handwritten notes by Mr. Potato Head that he took when he was briefed by someone on behalf of the rotten Reverend Clinton who came to tell him about this Trump-Russia conspiracy, which he immediately, obviously, figured out was some sort of a plot by the rotten Reverend Clinton. So then two days later, Mr. Potato Head goes and briefs Obama and says, hey, <laughs> Hillary and her campaign team are getting ready to run this plot against Trump that he somehow working with the Russians had something to do with hacking the DNC. They're getting ready to run this plot. <laughs> and what do they do? They run the plot. And what does Brennan do? Uh, either just after or just before he briefs Obama, he passes it on as a referral to the FBI, to Comey and Strzok and McCabe. He says, hey, uh, we just got wind of something that it appears that the Clinton campaign is getting ready to run some sort of a, 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 a plot against Trump saying that uh, he's somehow involved with the Russians and that they had working together had something to do with hacking the DNC. So Brennan is briefed by someone on the Clinton campaign. I guess they assumed that Brennan would just jump in with both feet and start investigating this or t looking into it. But rather what Brennan did was say, well, it sounds like a, a campaign plot. And he goes and tells Obama. <laughs> Hillary and her team are cooking up a plot. They're going to try to link Trump to Russia and hacking the DNC. Then he tells the FBI. Comey, McCabe, and Strzok learn of it. That Hillary's going to cook up a plot claiming that Trump is working with the Russians. And then they go ahead and do it. They run with it. And of course, she had already uh, hired Christopher Steele. She had already hired Glenn Simpson. So they already had this thing cooked up. They cooked up the dossier, brought in Simpson and Steele, put it all together. And then once they had, remember, this would have been just shortly after Steele would have given his uh, first briefing to the FBI in Rome. So he gives his first briefing to the FBI in Rome. This is just after Seth Rich has been murdered. Then the next thing you know, Robbie Mook is out on TV, drops this bomb. Two days later, they drop it on Brennan. He drops it on Obama. Then he drops it on the FBI. Then the next thing you know, a few days later, we get Operation Crossfire Hurricane. They were all working for the Rotten Reverend, just as I suspected. The Rotten Reverend, 
planned, organized, directed, and controlled this operation. She was the mastermind of the Spygate coup plot. And let's not forget, when Christopher Steele gave his deposition in the BuzzFeed case, what did he say? He said that he was hired to find evidence against Trump in case the Clinton campaign decided to challenge the election in case she lost. There it is. Cooked up by the rotten Reverend Clinton. Now this has to raise a lot of questions because we still don't know who put Mifsud and Downer into the game. But we know the two people that both of those people, Mifsud and Downer, have very close association, or certainly Downer, we know for a fact, has very close association. Uh, for many years, uh, Downer and the Clintons go back a long way. And of course, we learned from Papagopoulos's wife that Mifsud dined with the rotten Reverend Clinton at the UN, and she witnessed it firsthand. And apparently there were two meetings. Mifsud, of course, was associated with the group that was being uh, funded by the State Department. In fact, he was here uh, when he was interviewed by the FBI because he had been flown here, all expenses paid by the State Department to give a speech, his connections to the State Department, the U.S. State Department. That's Misfit's connection to the U.S. State Department, Hillary's old stomping grounds. As I said a long time ago, it's time to ask the rotten Reverend Clinton and Slick Willie what they know about Mifsud and Downer. The Rotten Reverend Clinton was the mastermind of this plot. It's all coming out now, just as I suspected three years ago. I smelled a Clinton pop plot back then, and I've been looking and looking and looking and digging now for over three years to find it. I knew eventually it would show up, and now we have it. And Ratcliffe is not saying specifically what he's about to release, but there's more. What he released today was simply a letter to the Senate Judiciary Committee telling them about all this. But we expect in the next couple of days, we may see the actual handwritten notes from Brennan, and we may get further detailed information about who it was that briefed Brennan from the Clinton campaign, how Brennan went about referring this to the FBI, who he used as an intermediary to feed it into the FBI, because that's also in the letter. And we certainly now have to ask questions. It's time for Obama to answer some questions. This, this means Obama at some point is going to have to be questioned. Because we now know that Mr. Potato Head briefed him on July 26th that the rotten Reverend Clinton was cooking up a plot, a Trump-Russia collusion plot. And what do you know? We got a Trump-Russia investigation out of it. The rotten Reverend Clinton was successful, but it failed to stop him from being elected. And what happened after the election? More investigations and more of the dossier garbage. And what did Christopher Steele say? He was hired to produce evidence that could be used by the rotten Reverend Clinton to challenge the election in court if she lost. That was the plan. But what happened to the rotten Reverend was that it was all garbage. And when the rubber met the road in January of 2017, when the dossier and Christopher Steele and his source uh, Iggy had all been blown up. The Rotten Reverend's plans went up in smoke. That's what happened. There's more to come. Well, I'm uh, needing to get a shower and get headed off to Red Lobster. Then we're going to watch the debate later this evening. I certainly hope you all will enjoy it. I will be back tomorrow. And we'll see if we learn anything new about this. And there may be some other information breaking as well. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys shortly. Bye.